What you see here is part of an adventure. I decided that because this front plate needed painting, I was going to remove everything from the front. Dismantle the whole front of the radio, mechanically as well as electrically. As you can see, it's in pretty bad shape. So it really does need a coat of paint. So I'm going to spray paint this clean everything up properly and then hopefully put it back in the right place. Now the biggest challenge here was actually the dial cords but I recorded those in little videos just to make sure I don't forget where everything went. To remove the FM dial cord, I turn the FM completely to the right. There's the dial there. The cap is fully meshed. Now what I need to do is go over the top here and there is the spring. I'm going to remove this end. This will come out that way through that one around this one, around the front here, catches the little thing there, goes around that one there, that comes over the top, goes a full once around and then out there, let me film the removal. Now the AM The AM is this loose wire here. It catches the AM thing at the top there and it has a spring here. Then this cord comes round round this one, round that one. It goes into that winding there from the bottom. Goes around from the bottom. I'll just leave it there like that. Okay. I need to remove these little guys here. Goes over the top, through the bottom, and then over here. That one is tied in, and this one is sprung in. Okay. The stop pointer is hooked in there as the pointer and then it is sprung over here. To remove the cord for the antenna, you turn the antenna fully clockwise, 
the spring is here about five centimeters from the end this goes through there then comes around I'm going to take the spring out it comes from the spring comes around here once Then hooks in there, hooks in there. This thing must come out, I think. This is a switch holder. Let me see. Okay, it hooks in there, but I can take it out. Okay. And it comes around the back, comes around behind. This one goes around once, and it hooks on to there, through there, through that thing, which then hooks once, and then that whole thing comes out, and it goes back out there. All right. Screws for this. There's one here, one at the bottom here, one, one there, one there, one there, and one there. Let's see if those are the only ones. The tube, you need to disconnect the tube and also these dial lamps, some clips here which hold the wire in place. Take that out. The dial lamp connector slips out. Another clip here which holds the black wire in. And the other dial lamp slips out. Something's holding this in place. What is it? it looks like these controls are screwed to the bottom of this. So we'll have to see how to loosen that up. Um, uh, turn this around. I have to remove this cap, there's two screws over here, and then I can unscrew that there and that there. This back black plate then slips out like that. Put this down over there. Now seems that this whole thing is loose. Let's try. Right, the whole back plate is out. Well, the front plate is out. A lot of dirt on there. The Magic Eye tube is still connected on there. So is that switch. This is what we have here. And the cleaning can begin. This is what the front looks like. And as you can see, there's a fair amount of dirt and rust and all sorts of crap in there. And all this needs to be cleaned out, de-rusted and made like new. And hopefully, it all gets put back in exactly the same way that it's supposed to be. I've tried a bit of cleaning here. I wasn't happy with that, so I'm going to do some painting on there as well, which you have to do very carefully so you don't mess everything up. But hopefully, this will be a before, and when you see the after, it should be completely different. And hopefully, as I said, back where everything's supposed to be. So, the task begins.